Alrighty, folks, let's get this show on the road. I'm just going to make sure real quick that everything is going. I hope everybody can hear me and all that good stuff. Let me get some music going here. Alrighty, let me pop over here. Hello, new game show, who dis? Um, if you guys could give me, a, uh, give me a shout out in the chat. Let me know that you can see and hear me. I'm having trouble loading the Behance page. For some reason, I just want to make sure that we are we are up and 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 going here the way we're supposed to be. Um, you got, okay? You got audio? You got okay? Cool, 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 cool. Um, so welcome back to Adobe Live, folks. Thanks for sticking around for another segment. My name is Voodoo Val, and I am I'm here with the uh, with some with some fun. Um, this is a new show that I'm really excited to be doing today called Graphic Glow Up, and today is Operation Recycling Patterns, aka Operation One Pattern to Rule Them All. Um, <laughs> What's poppin', Victor? It's good to see you. What's up, Wade, Katarina, Jack, Nicholas, Andrew, Hawk Rattle, the one and only. It's good to see you. Um, so I'm gonna go over real quick basically what this new show is, how it works, and all that stuff, and then we're gonna dive into some work. I'm gonna be here today and tomorrow. It's an hour-long uh, stream that I'm pretty pumped about. So graphic glow up. Basically, this is an opportunity for everyone to kind of come in um, to a safe place, kind of upgrade your your design skills and everything, try new stuff. And it's also kind of an exploration of all of Adobe's resource sites. If you folks know me, you know that I love me some Adobe stock. I love me some Adobe fonts. I love me some Adobe color. I love all of the wonderful tools that Adobe has to offer. So basically every week that we do this show, we are are going to find ourselves an asset from one of these uh, resource sites. It could be an image from Adobe Stock, it could be um, a video, it could be um, a, a sound file, it could be a color palette from Adobe Color, it could be a font that you know we just really, really like, and we're going to base an entire project around that. So we're gonna be working with patterns today, we're gonna look at some patterns, we're gonna create some patterns, and then we're gonna take those assets and we are going to do a total branding project just based around that one thing. Um, who doesn't? Yeah, right, Katarina? We love us some Adobe things. We do indeed, Viola. It's good to see you, by the way. Um, Catmio, welcome in. Thank you so much for joining us. Anastasia, it's good to see you. Umicorn, welcome back. Bliss, always great to see you. Um, and another thing that I really want to call attention to while we do this new show um, is when I say that this is an opportunity to to learn and grow to upgrade your skills and stuff um, there's I feel like there's some really important aspects of that that I want to touch on heavily during these streams. So what I'm going to do is tomorrow we're going to dive into the thing that we're going to do on the second day of um, every time we do the show during the week is after the two days, we are going to earn some achievements together, okay? Tomorrow I'm going to have a file prepared for you folks so you can keep track of your badges and your achievements for the show. Um, and it's really, really important and I'm pumped about the aspect. So I'm gonna pop over real quick and just kind of show you how you folks can level up in a very visual, substantial way rather than just tuning in and, and, and doing the work um, and just moving on that way. We're gonna actually have legitimate achievements for this show, okay? Um, so I'm going to come over here. Let me pop over to my page right here. All right, 
So I'm gonna have this achievements um, graphic for you and you can see that you can earn achievements. You can level up these badges based on illustration, graphic design, animation, video editing, and the presentation of your piece. And I've put a little tip here at the bottom for you. It says you deserve to earn points when you try things for the first time and or when you create something that you are proud of, okay? We wanna get into the habit of appreciating the little things, appreciating ourselves as we move forward in our creative journey appreciate the moments in which we grow rather than only the moments in which we complete something perfect 100%, right? Because we're all learning, even me, you know, everybody here in the chat today, no matter what stage of their creative journey they are in, we are all always learning things. And sometimes while you're learning, especially if you're at the beginning of your journey, it can be a little frustrating and disappointing um, to not be able to execute a um, a concept or an idea perfectly the way that you maybe envisioned. Um, it can be a little frustrating and disappointing to, you know, do all of the work and then realize it doesn't look exactly how you wanted. Um, but we're not only going to be awarding our points um, to ourselves based on how perfect something looks. We're going to be awarding points based on when we actually make progress. And progress does not only mean you have a perfect project ready for a case study and presentation and stuff. Progress means trying things for the first time. It means actually sitting down and putting some time into a concept that you're passionate about, doing something that you've been thinking of for a long time. Um, it could mean that, you know, you didn't finish this project, but there's one piece of it that you're like, you know what, I'm proud of myself that I did this portion, that deserves a point, okay? All right, creative mode, yeah, co co competitive creative mode activated. Not not so much competitive. If you folks want to um, post your achievements in the Discord or something, just to um, to share what you've awarded yourself points for, I think that would be great. But I would say, you know, there's no need to compete you know, with each other. These are for you. You don't actually have to share it at all if you don't want. You can just use this for yourself to keep track of what you're doing. But basically how that would look, if I hit T on my keyboard here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump in. If I do something in graphic design that I feel like, you know what? I did something new today, I'm proud of myself, I can just give myself a point. And I can keep upgrading it until after a while, you know, we get into this point, this, this show, um, and we do this multiple times, we might start to see things really start developing where it's like, wow, I'm, I'm, I'm making, I'm making my way, you know, you know what I mean? So you can do this. If it's not your kind of thing, you don't have to award yourself points, but I think that this makes for a really great, um, way to kind of get comfortable giving ourselves a pat on the back for the work that we do. Okay. Um, so, oh, hit me. I am, I'm so the imposter syndrome mode. I have to upload work. I'm not satisfied with. Yeah. You know, and I think, uh, at least for me personally, beginning of my creative career, I thought that I was not a worthwhile artist if I didn't have like this portfolio that was so crammed full of stuff, but it's like, you got to work towards getting that portfolio and having those finished projects and all that stuff. And in the meantime, I was, I was working my behind off. I was doing all this stuff, you know, I was spending all this time working, 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 pushing forward. But I don't think I stopped to take a moment to appreciate the hard work that I was putting in because I didn't have a very particular product at the end of each project, you know, not until later. So we're going to, we're going to fix that. Okay. We're going to start, um, we're going to start, congratulating ourselves and being proud of ourselves and being confident in our work together. Okay. Um, another thing that we are going to do, um, if you folks are so inclined, if you would like to, is I'm also going to have a goals page for you. And this goals page is something that, again, you could share if you want to share your goals when you start a project, or you could keep it for yourself, something to keep you on target, something to, to have a visual representation of what you're doing. Uh, when we start our project today, we're going to talk about what are our personal goals for this project, okay? What are our, what are our professional goals uh, for this project and what are we looking to do going forward in the future because we have created this project, okay? Um, and you can come in here, you can add a text box and type things. You can literally scribble. If you've got a stylus, you can write some notes in there and see if you have achieved those things afterwards. And don't be too harsh on yourself, okay? This is a guide. 
all right? It's a positive guide, positive affirmations only, okay? Good vibes only here, folks. Um, but I'm really excited about it. So. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to hunt for some patterns. We're going to we're going to we're going to get going here, all right? I'm going to pop over here. I've got a new um, a new project opened up and I'm actually going to save it before Annika screams at me. Um, let me go ahead. I'm going to save save on my computer. Uh, and I'm going to call this graphic glow up graphic glow up week 1. Okay? got my I got my file saved so Annika can't yell at me um, now I'm gonna come over to my goals page um, and when I'm done with this I'll probably save this out as a PNG and keep it in the f the folder you know where I have um, my my project files okay and I am gonna draw a text box um, in here real quick I'm just gonna throw some notes in here uh, and I'm gonna think about the kinds of things that I want to achieve for this project what is important for me to me you know personally as i go through this process so let's get some let's get some montserrat going on in here that's my my go-to font let's get some montserrat um so my personal goal for this project for our, our recycled patterns project um is i want to see how much use i can get out of one element okay so i'm going to type that out how much use can I get out of one single element? Boom. There's one. Um, another, another personal thing that I'm thinking of, um, as I get out, as I do this is I want to create a, a group of assets that all look like they belong together. Um, I don't know about you, but I struggle with that sometimes where I'm like creating a package um, and then I've got all these ideas for different elements, but if I don't keep my eye on the ball properly, sometimes I end up with a bunch of different files that don't look quite like a, like an asset set, you know? Um, so I just want to say, I want to make, um, uh, let's see, a, make a dynamic set of matching assets. There's some personal goals, okay? They, and these can be whatever you want them to be. Yours don't have to look like mine. Yours can be whatever you feel belongs in these spaces, okay? Um, professional. Um, I would say a professional goal that I'm, I'm, I'm looking to reach here is I want to see how efficiently I can create a bunch of different assets and like kind of plug them in quickly to make this set, if that makes sense. Um, let me make sure I'm not getting any um, top secret messages here. Yeah, go ahead, wait, go ahead. I, I do have a library for you so you folks can have all the colors and stuff um, that I'm working on, but tomorrow I'm gonna make sure that you can actually download the um, the achievements page and you can get in there and edit it. And I don't think that that's the way that it is right now, but you can jump in there and you can see the badge images and you can use all the colors that I've got going um, in the overlays and everything today if anyone's curious about those specific colors and all that good stuff. So yeah, go ahead, go ahead, Wade. Um, eye on the ball, yes. Um, so I want to become more efficient. I think I spelled efficient, right? When it comes to creating large um, asset packs. Okay, that's my, that's my professional goal. Um, and then a goal for the future for this project, um, I'm going to say I want to have more confidence when it comes to approaching this. Because I feel like if I do it, you know, if I, if, I, if I work towards the personal and professional goals, then I'll have that experience. And then moving forward into the future of my career, I'll have more confidence because I've been here before. So I'm going to say um, my future goals is to gain more confidence. Um, I'm not a speller, okay? This is not a spelling bee, so if I spell something wrong, I apologize. Um, when it comes to approaching this work. There we go. All right, those are my goals. Um, and I'm going to keep this, I'm gonna go ahead and save that. I'm gonna keep this on a back burner over here. I've got it up. 
um, so that I can glance at it and keep focusing on what my goals are for this as we move forward. Um, now, let's do the fun stuff. Let's jump into, um, I think we're actually gonna start with Adobe Color. Um, so I'm gonna jump into Adobe Color. Let's jump into Color. Um, oh, you know what? That's my other panel from today. Let's grab um, Adobe Color. Let's grab, let's just grab everything. Let's grab Adobe Stock and let's grab Adobe Fonts. Um, so I'm thinking we need obviously a theme for what kind of asset pack we're going to be designing. I thought it might be cool if we did um, some social media assets for like a food blog. Are we, do we have any foodies in the chat? Um, uh, the I is lowercase personal. I did notice that. It was making my eye twitch a little bit, but I thought maybe nobody would notice. <laughs> but I'll, I'll fix that. Don't worry, Jermaine. I won't leave you hanging. Um, get busy, busy drawing or get busy, yeah. <laughs> Reverb, it's good to see you. Um, all right, so let's let's type in patterns. Let's get um, if we don't find something that we want to download, we'll at least find some um, inspiration. So let's let's type in patterns. Um, we could maybe even type in food patterns because um, I'm thinking, you know, doing like food blog kind of stuff could be cool. Um, food patterns, um, and let's start gathering some good stuff. I love this, actually. I really like that. Um, that's cute just like little little ice cream cones and uh, and donuts and stuff. That's adorable. Um, I also, let's see what else we can get. This is also kind of cute, like the, just like the simple um, grid lock of items with like one um, odd one out. Um, I also like this. I see this and I instantly think of Cody Bear. This is cool too. Um, this might be something um, easier to go for as far as the time frame we have because we could do some like icons and things in these colors. Um, maybe we do because it's still, I think technically it's still pumpkin spice season. Maybe we do like a, like an autumn um, I guess it's winter, winter, but maybe we could do like an autumn theme. It doesn't matter. We're the masters of this realm. We could do whatever we want. Um, it could use some purple. Honestly, I feel like we could add some purple to this. This is pretty cool. Um, also, just to um, make sure that I have covered this base, I am in the free section of Adobe Stock. So anything that you folks are seeing that I'm doing right now that I'm snagging, you can go snag for yourself right now if you want to. Um, I actually really do like this. Um, so maybe we take this as like an inspirational piece here. I'm gonna go ahead um, and license that for free. Um, and it'll throw it into my libraries. Um, it, or I can go ahead and download it. Um, so I went into my little library there. Um, uh, and then let's... You know what I would like to do? Let's come over to Adobe Color and let's extract a theme. I wonder if we can, can we Can we do that? No, we can't. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, let's, let's open this file and I can show you a little nifty trick. I don't know if anybody's ever tried to go from Illustrator to, um, to Photoshop lately since the new updates, but there's actually some pretty cool stuff going on as far as how you can drag one thing from one um, from one program to the other. So I'm gonna show that off real quick. Uh, it's thinking, it's thinking for me. There we go, there it is. Um, okay, so I am gonna come over here. Let me come into layers here. And I'm just gonna, I'm honestly, I'm gonna select all of this and I'm going to, uh, control C and then I'm gonna just to copy real quick and I'm gonna come into Photoshop um, and I'm going to control V it should let me should let me do that let's see if I can um, I might hold on I'm gonna pop over to my um, face cam real quick because I might actually have frozen this I hope not. I apologize for for that if it is actually frozen. Um, let me see if I can sort this out. I'm gonna have to re-log into this. Um, sorry guys. Awkward. Hi, I'm Voodoo Val. This is a new show um, where I have to figure out what I'm do <laughs> what I'm doing. <laughs> um, okay, there we go. Yeah, um, I'm getting a little bit of. There we go. Okay, perfect. 
You know what, I'm trying to copy into an artboard file and maybe that's the issue. Let me pop back over here. Um, I made a new file that's just like a 3000 by 3000 pixel square. Um, I did that copy, I came over here, control V to paste. Um, and you can still do like the smart objects, pixels, paths, shape layers, all that good stuff, but you can actually select layer um, here. And if I say, okay, it's actually going to copy paste everything from, um, that Illustrator file as Photoshop layers here in Photoshop. So I'll actually be able to go in and edit all of those teeny tiny pieces. Um, it's gonna do a little bit of thinking. So while it is thinking, um, I think that we are going to extract a color palette. And you could technically, you could come in to Photoshop and just like sample colors and stuff. But just in case you folks have never actually extracted, um, a color palette. Um, we're gonna do this. Let's see. Oh, there's too many layers. It's like a huge, it's huge, huge. Okay, that works, that's that's fine. Um, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, export this in Illustrator as um, a JPEG and we're just gonna sample some colors from it. Let's go ahead and go here and then let's pull up our, um, let's pull up our Adobe Color. Uh, 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 uh. Bring Adobe Color back and we'll just do it this way. Um, okay, cause it'll give us the, it'll give us the image and it'll give us the palette. Um, let me open up my finder here. I'm going to drag this in. So I just dragged in the image um, of what we were looking at. And I can come in here and I can sort out an interesting color palette if I want to. So I can kind of drag these around and find something that I like. I definitely want this like warm orange color. Um, maybe we can find more of like a, like a red color. There we go. Honestly, that might be good. Um, that might work. We've got like a light brown, a dark brown. We've got two different kinds of oranges um, and we've got like a nice light tan. It might be cool to have like a even brighter color here. Is that a little bit brighter? Maybe on this, there we go. Um, right there on that, that cream. Boom. Okay. Um, and it's already set to graphic glow up. So I'm going to rename this as, um, let's see, let's call this, uh, GGU for graphic glow up. GGU colors week one, boom. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and save it. Um, and I'm gonna drag this over here and then we're gonna have our colors. And we're gonna start making a pattern. Um, so by the end of today, we should have a full pattern made. Um, and then tomorrow we're gonna start dropping it into some custom templates. We'll make some custom templates, do some Instagram stories and some Twitter posts and all that good stuff. Um, so let's see, it might give us you know, it might need us to, oh no, we got it, boom. And it's got, we got our, we got our image um, in here um, and we have our color palette. Perfection, perfection. Um, that was quick, that was perfect. Wonders how many layers is too many layers. Yeah, I, you know, and that's, that could happen because I hadn't actually, you know, gone through that file. Um, so maybe it's just a gigantic file, um, but that's okay. So I've got my, image grouped. I've got my um, colors. I'm going to go ahead and group this real quick um, and just call this week one. Boom. Um, and if you check out that library, you guys should have that too. Um, now that it is updated. Um, and I am, let's, let's, let's start doing pattern stuff, shall we? Um, I'm going to, I wonder if I can just drag this out here. Can I do that? I don't think so. Um, I'm going to select some of these colors. Um, and this is really great because I don't know if you folks have used the patterns, but I can come in here and make myself a color palette. But notice when I click the actual colors of this asset that's in my library, it's actually just, um, selecting the color that I click on, which is pretty amazing. So I've got my color palette and let's do some, some autumn type, uh, designs, shall we? Um, I think that I'm going to select this dark color and I'm just gonna throw a dark color in there. Um, and let's do, 
we want like food and stuff. So let's start creating some, some icons. Uh, winging it, curious because my colleagues send me things with a bazillion layers. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Cartoon goddess, welcome in by the way. Um, so sometimes I get vector files from Adobe stock that have an object for every single line. Those never work for me when I try to send them to Photoshop. Yeah, and that's probably what this is, is like that entire, you know, page of illustrations for that is probably like each individual thing is, is, a uh, uh, an element. Um, okay. So, um, I think I'm going to do some sketching real quick before we start jumping into shapes and things, just to kind of give myself an idea of what I've got going on here. Um, so I'm gonna grab a block brush um, and let's grab this orange color um, just for now. Um, and if we're going to, we're gonna create this pattern and this pattern is gonna turn into a bunch of different things. Um, so we're gonna need a pattern, obviously like a straight up pattern tile that we can use as the background for something. But each of these little elements we can isolate and use as decorations on an infographic or anything. So everything needs to be able to be recycled into different forms, different functions, okay? Um, so if we do something for like a food blog, we could do, um, some spoons. We could have like, you know, some little spoons. Um, let's turn that to the, let's, let's turn that like, like that. Um, and maybe again, this is just a sketch, but I can do something like, like this where, you know, the spoon can just have like a little, um, little opening there. We can do a whole bunch. Let's do like, let's do some, uh, like a fork too. Okay. Um, and we can, we can place these around. This looks like a little pitchfork, but, um, we'll clean it up. We're going to, we're going to come in with some shapes, um, later and do that. Um, a quick Google revealed it is up to 8,000 layers. Wow. Okay. So that file was enormous, <laughs> but it looks like I've got, you know, because I, I went ahead and extracted that color palette. It looks like I've got, a uh, an image version of it just in my library now, which is fine. So if I want to bring that in, I can. Um, so let's select this. Um, I want to make sure I'm not on my polygonal lasso tool. I want to um, grab my regular lasso. Let's throw one of those over there. And basically what I'm going to do is sketch out some things and arrange them. Then we'll clean them up and we'll make this a tileable pattern and add it to our library. Uh, let's grab, let's, let's also make a knife. Okay. I'll make a little, little knife. I think that looks like a knife. Um, I'm not a cutlery expert, but that looks like a, like a knife to me. And maybe, um, just to add a little more detail and make sure that we're getting the point across here, kind of stylize it a little bit. Maybe in the final version we come through, um, and this has like, you know, some, some little lines like handle lines or, or something. Um, maybe a little swirl or maybe a K for knife. I don't know if that looks good, but you know, we're, we're spitballing here. Maybe, um, we do, um, a little one right here too. do a little tag at the end of that one. So we've got, um, knife, fork, spoon. Okay. This could be part of our pattern. Boom. Um, another thing that we could do is let's grab our colors here and let's, um, I'm thinking grab this cream color. Maybe we make a mug you know, a mug could work. Um, and if you're not an illustrator, like this is my preferred way to get my concepts out. You know, like I, I like to, I like to sketch everything out first and throw something on the canvas. So I'm not looking at a blank canvas and praying I can fill it with stuff. That's actually something that gives me a lot of anxiety, like looking at a, a blank canvas, um, and trying to fill it with something. Um, but yeah, if I get in here and sketch around, uh, then even if it's a sketch, I can come in on top of this with the pen tool and, uh, with shapes and stuff and, and clean it up. And I don't feel lost in the process, if that makes sense. Um, I think I'm going to put a little line here just so that it, you know, looks like the handle. Um, and we could do maybe a little heart of some kind. Okay. I'm gonna do something like that. That's kind of cute. Um, 
and if and i'm trying to keep in mind um let's you know kind of review our our goals over here um how much uh, use can i get out of one element and for you jermaine i'm gonna make this a capital i <laughs> How much use can I get out of one single element? The element being the pattern we're creating. So as I'm going through this, I'm also kind of thinking like, okay, I'm making, I'm making a pattern, I'm making these elements, but this would also look good, not only just as, you know, a portion of this, uh, of this pattern, um, but if you can imagine it in, you know, something like this, let's see, let's do a little, let's do a little concept sketch real quick. What if I, if I make a new layer or a shape underneath this, what if I'm going to make a um, recipe page that's going to go on um, Instagram or Twitter or something? Um, let's go ahead and change this to, actually we could do it on this, this is fine. Um, I am going to come in here and just use the eraser here instead of where I drew this line um, because I would like it not to have that line there again this is you know this is a sketch so there's going to be some little in fact we could just connect it since it doesn't have a dark background and then do something like that boom um so maybe this is like the icon for you know tomorrow we start making our our serious assets um we could do something like this you know i'll grab this and then we could have like a title for like um pumpkin spice something something okay you know and that's our title um and then we can have um our little recipe here okay and that would make kind of a cute design element so we're recycling that portion of our pattern um that we made um and it would even be cool if um actually i can just make this whole thing a clipping mask um, it would be cool if, you know, we added like a little border or maybe just like little, little corners could be interesting. So there's like an idea for how this is going beyond our pattern. Okay. Keeping our eye on the ball. As I said earlier, this is going to go beyond. So that, you know, that's how that could be utilized. I'm going to go ahead and did I put that all in the same? I sure did. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut this out or duplicate it. Um, and I'm just going to honestly i'm gonna group these and call that post idea we're gonna keep that go ahead and hide that okay um what have i missed hello everyone leah jackson it's good to see you we are creating patterns today um and we are going to use these patterns to do like a whole cohesive branding for like a food blog of some sort we're gonna we're gonna create um, a tileable pattern, which will then turn into Instagram story templates, which will then turn into Instagram or Twitter post templates and infographics and things all from the same pattern. So we're recycling this pattern as many times as we can while keeping a very diverse sort of plethora of different things for this branding. Um, but it all starts at the same place. Um, also, hello, Becca. So we've got a cup a little mug. Um, we could even, if we wanted to, let's see, we could do some sort of some sort of something um, here. Maybe. I don't know if that would look good, but it's an idea if we did like a little bit of steam. Okay. It's a piping hot, whatever it is. That's cute. That's adorable. Um, okay, so we've got utensils. We've got a mug. Um, we could do, what do you guys think? What What else? Oh, food, you have my attention. Yeah, Leah. Um, what else could go with this? We could do um, salt and pepper shakers. Salt and pepper shakers would be really cute, honestly. Um, so we could grab Let's see. Let's do, let's do salt as like this orange maybe, or salt could be, now let's do salt, the cream. Okay, we're just gonna sketch out a little salt shaker here. Boom. 
Um, this is a salt shaker, I promise. This is a, this is a very classy salt shaker. Um, it's limited edition. Stylized salt shaker. Um, okay. Let's maybe slice the ends off of that. Boom. There is a salt shaker. Let's duplicate that and drag that over here. Um, and we'll, we could kind of elongate this a little bit just to make it look slightly different and let's flip it horizontal um, and let's also kind of change the silhouette just a, just a tiny bit let's change the silhouette maybe since we changed the silhouette we actually don't need to make it larger honestly um, so let's shrink it down there we go boom some little shakers um, and we can turn this one to the side and we can turn this one to the side and put it up here like so um, and let's change the color um, let's change the color of this one uh, this second one here let's just we'll just paint bucket it because we don't have to be fancy this is concept stage boom so salt and pepper uh, we want to have like a dark one for the pepper and a light colored one for the salt so I'm gonna go ahead and merge these um, and let's write a P for pepper okay I don't know about you but I think these are super cute um, maybe we use a darker color to do some of the designs so we're gonna do P and we're gonna do S for salt okay toss me some ideas folks what else belongs in this pattern um, S and P yes exactly Christine we're on the same um, we're on the same wavelength right now. We're on the same page. Uh, draw an S on, you can't deny it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've missed the tappy tappy of Fel's keys, ASMR at its finest. <laughs> Are you going to give us an idea of how you come back and clean everything up? Would you do that in Illustrator and transfer it over? I'm gonna do it in Photoshop and I'm gonna do it right in front of you guys. I'm gonna do everything. I'm gonna show as much of this process as I possibly can. And if something happens, cause it's a new show, so we're gonna kinda, we're, you know, as I do this, I'm also getting a feel for, you know, about how long it takes me to, to do certain things in a new time frame. Um, so my promise to you is that if I don't show you every single step um, of my process here on the stream, for example, if I end up um, doing something off camera, um, when I tune in, to the show again the the next day um i will show you hey i worked on something off camera this is exactly how i did it i will not um leave you in the dark and just say yeah by the way you know this is what i would do this is how i would do it and then just assume you can figure that out for yourself um that is something that used to frustrate me sometimes uh, when i was trying to learn a new concept is um i they'd be like okay clean it now clean it up I'm like, I don't know how to clean it up though. Help me. I don't know how to do that. Um, sometimes you need, you know, you need a little, a little extra uh, information. You need somebody to go through it step by step. So we're going to go through it step by step. Um, okay. So we got our salt and pepper shaker. I'm not sure how I feel about the, the top holes on that, but I'm not going to sweat it because this is just the first initial sketch phase. Maybe we try it slightly different here. Maybe we only really need like three of them. Um, maybe that works. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Boom. There's our salt and pepper shakers. Um, they're going to be much prettier, uh, soon, but we've got them and we can do some, maybe, you know, maybe we have some little specks, uh, in the final. That's just like, you know, salt coming out of here. And then we can grab this and this can be some pepper. Okay. Um, orange pepper. Again, we're in control here. If we want orange pepper, we can have orange pepper. Um, so there's our salt pepper shaker. Salt pepper shakers would be cute as heck. Um, a wine rack. Honestly, like a, like a wine bottle in general would be really cute. Um, bread basket. Ooh, we could do like loaves of bread. Loaves of bread would look really great. That's an, that's a, that's an excellent idea. Um, let's grab, let's grab this and let's do a little bread loaf. Um, honestly, I think it's super cute when illustrations of bread, it's just like a little lump and then it just has like the, um, 
where the where the bread splits while it's baking. So we could do that, and then let's grab this light color, and we could do something like, let's make a new layer, and let's do a clipping mask to that, okay? Um, and let's do some, some like this, okay? Adorable. There's an adorable little bread. Um, and we can also, let's grab, let's, let's see, let's grab this and let's just, you know, I want to remember that I kind of want, um, there to be like a shadow of some kind. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. There's a little, a happy loaf of bread. Boom. Um, and we could do maybe one more bun. I think it needs a, another bun. So let's, on this layer, let's grab, um this color again and let's make a smaller loaf okay let's make a smaller little bun boom um and let's do one of these let's do let's do one of these where it's like a, a cross oops let's come into our clipping mask there we go um booyah one of these cute little buns. There we go. And uh, we'll do our shadow as well to remind me that, you know, when I do clean it up, I want to put some shadow. Okay. Boom. There's a little bread. And then I think we need a baguette, like a, like a long, a long classic baguette. Um, because I don't think any adorable bread illustration is complete without one of these. This is super cute. Um, any other hot cross buns? Yes, hot cross buns. Um, I'm legit eating banana bread right now. Perfect vibes for it. I'm jealous. That sounds delicious. That sounds so good. Uh, okay, we got our baguette. Let's come in and do... I think there's lines on a baguette, right? I think there's, there's little lines on a baguette. I think that'll work. We can do it. If there's not, there's lines on this baguette. But I'm pretty sure. So we got bread. We have bread, folks. Bread has happened. Um, I'm gonna group those and I'm gonna call it bread. Let's actually name all these. By the way, um, if you are newer to Photoshop and kind of organizing and, and navigating the uh, layers and grouping things is a little new for you. All I did there was I selected uh, things. I can, I can select multiple layers at once. So I can hold shift and select a bunch in a row, or I can select one and hold control and I can click around and all that stuff. And anything that's selected, I can just say control or command G to group. Um, and then I can rename that group. So there's bread. Um, I'm just going to call this colors. Boom. So I have my colors. Um, and I'm going to make, I'm actually going to make these colors smaller because I don't like that it's encroaching upon our stuff. This is typically how I, I, I do um, also, even when I have a palette just in my libraries, because I, I guess technically I could just come over here and click. Um, but I don't like to have my layers uh, or my library panel open while I'm working sometimes. So I just kind of throw some little dabs like an actual paint palette and just have it in the corner while I'm working. Um, let's call this um, salt pepper. Boom, we got our little salt pepper shakers. Uh, we've got our mug, um, bread, salt, pepper, mug, and where are, let's call this um, silverware. Boom. So we've got all of that. And I'm going to group everything that we just did. I'm going to call these sketches. Um, so we have that. We have our post idea. Um, that was pretty cute. I'm actually going to center this up here um, just so I have that. And as we, you know, come up with ideas, maybe we can make more little adorable sketch ideas like this before we bring them to reality. Um, let's see. Just bought mine was craving sweet stuff. Um, you guys have like all kinds of snacks with you today and I'm very jealous. Um, why did the loaf of bread break up with his girlfriend? The relationship was crumbling. Kieran Lewis in the chat with the dad jokes already. Welcome in Kieran, it's good to see you. Um, also we got about 10 minutes. Um, so I am, what I'm gonna do is as I promised, um, I might clean some of these up 
and maybe make a couple more things between today and tomorrow. Um, but what I want to do is show you how I'm gonna do that. Uh, so I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna turn the opacity of our big group of uh, designs. I'm gonna turn that down. Um, and this, I uh, believe that was, was that Kai? Um, I think that was Kai, right? Who was asking, how, how do you clean it up? Um, this is my personal method for cleaning stuff up like this in Photoshop, if I want something to be like a nice clean shape. So I've turned this on a lower opacity. Um, I'm gonna grab my pen tool uh, and I'm gonna zoom in here like so. Uh, and I'm gonna come in and let me make sure I don't have caps locks on. And I'm gonna tap, tap like so. And I'm gonna start kind of creating a perfect shape of this. Um, and as I do this, I'm going to show you, if you are not familiar with the pen tool, basically what I did was I just clicked and then I did a click and drag to kind of get me a little, little curve there. Um, and you can hold alt so you can alter these um, posable arms here, um, as I like to call them, um, so that you can alter the trajectory of where things are going next um, in, your, in your shape. Okay, there we go. And I want to pull this in just a little bit um, and I'm gonna go ahead and close that honestly that's that looks cute that works for me um, so I've got a nice a nice shape here there we go um, and what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to create a new layer and I'm gonna come over here do another little uh, click and drag I'm gonna bring this down over here and I'm just gonna go like that and make our little boom. Um, and we're gonna fill this with our darker color, I believe. Boom, so now we've got our we've got our, our mug shape, we've got our drink shape. We need to come in here and make our little handle shape because I do want it kind of floating. Let's make our handle. Boom, bring it out. I'm actually gonna do a click and drag on that one just to get it, you know, a little more. Boom, um, so there's our mug. And I might actually draw the heart on because I want it to be scribbly. Um, so I'm gonna leave that and we're gonna call this, let's group those together. We're gonna call that mug. And then above it, I'm gonna do a separate one for the steam, okay? Um, so let's grab this, give that a little curve. Bring that over here. Make us a little shape. Um, let's do it again. Let's get a, a nice little S curve going over here, right? in over here boom and let's round this out like so perfect so I got a little little a, a bigger s curve and then let's do one more teeny tiny little crescent here boom and we're gonna call this we'll group that we'll call that steam boom um, and then on another layer, I'm gonna come in. Let's grab like a. I'm gonna. I'm gonna grab a uh, like a sketchy kind of brush um, if I can. Um, and I'm going to grab this reddish color, and I'm gonna go ahead and put a little heart on here. Let's. Boom. And I might erase just a little bit around the edges of this to make it perfect or as perfect as I can. I'm only human, okay? Got our little heart going on there. 
Um, and yeah, so there is a nice, perfectly clean version of our mug. I'll group all of that and I'll call this, um, maybe we could just call it latte. Latte. Um, and you could, you know, come in and sketch some or use the pen tool to add some more details. Like maybe we grab um, this color or if there's a lighter orange, which I believe there is, um, we could grab, let's grab that, um, a slightly darker orange. Um, and on our, in our mug, we've got that little shape there. We can do a clipping mask to that, made a new layer, create clipping mask, um, and we could come in and sketch, I think, um, maybe I maybe I will start doing that. Just opening that up and changing. Boom, got our little, little cup with a little swirl of something something in there, you know? Pretty cute, pretty adorable. We could even take the same color and maybe we group the cup shape and the handle make a clipping mask to that so that we're clipping to like this full piece and maybe we could come in here and do a little shade shadow like that you know we can do whatever we want something like that i don't know kind of an idea maybe for tomorrow um turn that on a lower opacity just to give it like a you know slight slight uh detail there i don't know um and then if i if i hide this if i hide our sketches we've got this nice adorable little uh little latte um and i can resize it if i want and um place it however i want but now we've gone from sketch to like a nice clean um, little little illustrative piece that will go into the rest of our project and I think it's adorable um, So that's perfect. And that's how I would do all of the different um, Sketches so what I will most likely do now that I've showed that process to you I'm probably going to come in and I'm gonna clean up all of our Sketches that we've done. In fact, I'm gonna unhide these and show all the little ones that we've created today um and uh, I'll clean these up, and then tomorrow we're gonna get into creating actual posts and things. We're gonna start making Instagram stories. Uh, we're gonna start making Instagram story templates, excuse me, <clears throat> and uh, we'll do some some recipes. Um, we'll do some banners because um, we're gonna use that we use that pattern. So we'll go dive into Adobe fonts, find some 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 fonts that we like, make a banner for a Twitter account. Um, basically, brand an entire thing, and we're only gonna be using colors from the patterns we've made. We're gonna be using the little illustrations and elements from the patterns we've made, um, and that keeps us on target. So if we can review my goals that I set out for myself today. Um, how much use can I get out of one single element? I think I'm on track with that. Um, making a dyna dynamic set of matching assets. All the planning and selecting colors and doing everything all at once, you know, like creating that pattern that will be the base for everything to come, I think will keep me on target making that dynamic set. I think everything's gonna be the same color. It's all gonna have the same recycled elements in a different way and look like it matches itself. Um, and professionally becoming more efficient when it comes to creating large asset packs. So I'm, I'm really trying to find the quickest, most efficient way to do this high quality. Um, I'm getting more practice with that and my future goals, I am gaining more confidence when it comes to approaching this kind of work. Um, so I, I, I've got a couple minutes here, um, just to recap for anyone who has just joined in, it's a brand new segment that I'm doing called uh, Graphic Glow Up, okay? And aside from setting out goals, um, at the beginning of the week where we you know do a project for the show we are also going to be doing um achievements okay and tomorrow we are going to dive into an actual let me group this real quick tomorrow we're going to dive into an actual achievements um awards ceremony at the end um, of our piece uh of our, of our stream excuse me um and i'm going to award myself 
some points. Um, I'm actually going to come in here and I'm going to, I plugged in some numbers earlier as I was showing this off, but I'm going to award myself some points tomorrow based on what I feel I did, what I'm proud of. Um, and I'll read this tip one last time before we get out of here, um, because I want to encourage you folks to um, have confidence in your work, um, in yourselves, and not put yourselves down so much because we're our own worst enemies when it comes to critiquing ourselves as, as artists. So tip, you deserve to own, earn points when you try things for the first time and or when you create something you're proud of. Get into the habit of appreciating the little things, moments in which you grow, not just complete. That is the goal, okay? Um, so that's all the time I have for today. I can't wait until tomorrow. It's going to be a blast. Thank you everybody uh, for joining me. Um, it's been really cool to kind of dive into something new with you and I will see you tomorrow. All right, folks. Adios, everybody.